Welcome back to another episode of Call of the Night. This is the part of the video where I do a quick recap to remind myself what happened last time. But if you want to jump to the reaction timestamp below, I believe it was a Midori episode, right? So we're going through the roster of vampire friends. That's apparently trying to kill Ko if we don't get fall in love with Nazuna uh, within the one-year timeline. But we're going through the list of the vampires. We're going to have, you know, little episodes with them. And this is nice, but it's kind of sad because isn't this... Didn't the season end in like one more episode? Wasn't this like 12 episode season? I wish it would go 24, but <laughs> man, we just got to the good part and we're already ending. I think the funniest part about the previous episode is the uh the the way that Midori delivers the drink and he goes like moe moe cute and then there's a one salaryman office where it's like, oh yes, I come here every day for this. Maybe relatable. I've, I've never been to a meat cafe. I want to go to a cat cafe if anything. This wasn't as serious or as heavy of an episode compared to the one with Seti because that one was like, holy shit, everybody just crying. We're just like, just getting people's life stories. Jesus Christ, people are trying to kill each other. I'm like, man, this is a Wendy's, like, relax, but this is more casual with Midori. We're just in a maid cafe. There happens to be a stalker or some kind of creep that's taking pictures of the other, you know, brunette girl, but. That's a nice excuse for us to do the Detective Conan kind of reference. Seems like this show does a little bit of a cameo or like an homage to different uh, series in the past. Like there was a little bit of a JoJo's reference, I think, with the color palette switching and the posing, right, in the previous episode before this. And then now we're getting maybe Detective Conan lines. I'm not completely sure. I don't have the lines like memorized, but I did watch it as a kid and it kind of reminded me of it, right? It just happened that the brunette girl was the one taking the pictures herself. Yeah, she did it. She just wanted to feel sexy. She wanted to feel Anna kind of wanted. And then Midori's like, you're mentally ill. But it's okay, we're all mentally ill. I'm like, Jesus Christ, relax. I, there was nothing wrong with taking it. So you want to take some risque pictures here and there? Hey, be my guest, go for it. But if anything, that girl was looking for affection from Midori. She really likes her. I think there's a level of um, admiration that goes towards Midori, right? Because she actually jo enjoys like her her past, her favorite pastime is going to different cafes and like meeting the maids, right? So... Does a girl like that really exist? Do I need to ask that? This anime, come on. All right, let's watch the next episode. Hmm? Nice bed. You don't have to just sleep on a fucking on the ground now, I guess. You got some upgrades with what money? I get okay, okay. You got some more cash. Money is us. <laughs> yeah, I guess she was just working the massage job and then she was just paying off the rent only. Rent and beer, pretty much. I wonder which vampire we're going to talk to today. I don't recognize you. She seems kind of cool though, the, with the trench coat and smoking. Uh, are you okay, ma'am? The night purple color palette changed. Yeah, you got another smoke for me. <laughs> I just want to chat. <laughs> you look so tired. Do you want to bother yourself with me and start talking? I don't think she's a vampire, though. She doesn't look like... She looks like a character from Black Lagoon, if anything. Just because of her hair, but... Uh... Are you like to smoke inside like this? Oh, she wanted to get hit on. <laughs> We're at, like a dessert cafe. Are we really allowed to just smoke here casually like that? Cuddle buddy business. <laughs> okay, that's right. She's he's uh, on the hunt. Yeah, cuddle buddy. Money. Nazna. It's kind of pretty sketchy. It's super sketchy, dude. Yeah, just a little part-time work, you know. Yeah. We don't go to school, though. What? <laughs> oh, come on. You're trying to hit on a minor. You're going to fucking worry about the legality of fucking workers' rights here? Are we going to go to jail now? Whoa, no. You're going to call the cops? We got to kill her right now. Call Nelson. We got to kill her right now for the sake of <laughs> her massage part-time job. What do you do for work? Detective, PI, investigator, police. Mm -hmm. 
private detective. I was right. I think it was kind of obvious based on her clothing and kind of hinting at that she knows the law and I don't know, smoking like a cool person. <laughs> Conan again, Detective Conan again. But we just had like a little bit of a de detective episode. Now we're getting an actual detective, huh? Missing people. Missing people. Vampire killing. The bodies disappear. That's kind of crazy, right? I, I mean, is she looking for missing people involved with vampires? Never heard of him. Hmm? Oh! Well, he's an offspring now. This detective is on the chase for, you know... You're lying! You're lying! I think she caught you right there. You hesitated there. Ma'am, relax. I thought we were on a good terms here. But, you know, based on his hesitation, I think she caught him pretty quick. You jealous? We're trying to get clients! We're trying to get clients for you, dummy! Okay, she's a little bit jealous. Maybe maybe a little bit upset. A tiny bit. Can prepare with beer this time, though. Love you. Didn't say love, though. Oh? You noticed something? Yeah, I think she I think she caught on based on her what she just said. Hello, actually exists. Um, um, hi. To to, to reclaim her adolescence. <laughs> yeah, because of people like you. Maybe he, is he a, is he an offspring? Probably. But I can't restrain myself anymore. Last day for what? You ruined it! Now give me your blood. Protect Akira no matter what! Oh, his teeth there. Didn't it kind of... That was fast. He's moving pretty fucking fast. Akira got bit over... Yo, help. Help. Uh, oh, oh, he's drooling all over. Oh, gross. Can Koko Ko, any... Can you really stop him? Oh god, Koko got a chair out of nowhere. Boom! WWE style. Is it enough to knock out a vampire though? It's pretty much like a superhuman. Let's get the fuck out of here. I wonder whose offspring it is. Who did he fall in love with? Different. Pretty and slick. Because they kept on drinking blood. Because he never drank blood. Because he said this was the last day. He probably has been restraining himself the entire time because he cares about people more than you would think, right? See, he's saying, hurry, get away, right? So he probably refused to drink blood, and that's why he's in this state compared to the other vampires. Is my guess. Investigator lady? Is that her? Is this the detective? It is her, it is her. But you found the mystery that's been, you know, for like decades. Okay, how are you gonna stop this guy though? You're just, you, you look cool right now lighting up that cigarette, but like, what are you gonna do about this? She's baiting like this, meaning she knows about vampires then? Why else would she do that? How is, he, how is she gonna beat him? Oh! Full on matrix. A hug. Really? Okay. Why? What? Why? 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 Is it not blood? It's baited with something else. Something toxic, poisonous to vampires. Instead of what was going on there? What? What did you just do? Uh, no ma'am, no ma'am, but she can sniff out lies pretty fucking quick. She's scary! What's this taste? What is she? Why does her blood taste bad? She's not a human then? Is she also a vampire then? You let another vampire drink your blood. 
you fell in love and that you restrained yourself for 10 years. Who was it? She's like consoling him right now. Which woman? Who was it? Who was it? Can't be Nasna, right? Probably somebody else that we don't know. I mean, that we've met, but. Show me a face. Show me a face. Who was it? What are you giving to him? A ring? What does that ring do? Let you die as a human. He can return to be, be a. What, 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 what? Why is that ring? So, vampire. Vampires are weak to garlic and. Silver? No, oh, isn't that werewolves? Is that a silver ring? No, oh, isn't that different creatures entirely? I'm confused. But apparently, turn into a human. This is the first time we've seen this kind of mechanic for a vampire to be able to turn back into a human and disappear with sunlight due to that ring? She's super interesting to me. This guy, she is. The story just got so much more interesting with her added to the story. <laughs> this is the ugly side of becoming a vampire. You know, you're not just a pretty girl just <laughs> having fun at May cafes and all the time, you know. She's bringing a different taste, like different side to the story. She knows that he wants to become a vampire. She probably saw the bite marks too. Kind of jumped to the conclusion too. Just call me and I'll be there. But why did her blood taste bad? Is it the fact that he restrained himself for 10 years and therefore the sudden taste is bad? I don't, I don't know. Is that the episode? That is the episode. This episode was honestly... It might be my favorite. Like... She is this new detective lady? She just spiced things up and she just took the story to a whole other direction. So far, it's just like, nighttime, yay! Having fun with vampires, we can fly around! Oh, you're gonna fall in love with me and then you can become a vampire too! And we're just vibing, yay! And then we met a legion of vampires. He's like, oh shit, story's getting pretty interesting. Other nice vamp, I mean, not nice vamp, I mean, maybe they're nice, but they're really hot vampires, right? It's like, oh, the big titty ladies are going on around. Great, great, great. New vampires get a little bit of a story with Seri, get a little bit of a casual story with uh, Midori. And now it's just like, you don't know shit about vampires. Do you know what they truly are? Do you see that man living as a monster? You have no fucking clue what you're doing with your life. I will never let you achieve your dream. She came out of fucking nowhere, this detective. Like, actually giving me chills. This story is getting so much more interesting. Fuck! We only have one more episode left in this season. I, maybe it's gonna get a season two, right? She is such a compelling character. The fact that she's so cool and charismatic. Just the way she was leading the conversation casually. And it's like, ah, by the way, do you know about this person? Akken, right? Offspring, right? That turned the series offspring. And at that moment, Ko hesitated. She looked at the picture and he was like, and then the detective fucking figured out immediately and just dragged him in and said, Oh, okay, I see. She obviously knows what happened to him. Probably understands most of the mechanics of how vampires operate. Because she knows how to apparently kill one. She said that she needs to, the more she deals with vampires, you know, the more she has to understand about them, right? So, like, she probably understands how one must fall in love with another vampire to become their offspring. But does she... And she even understands, like, how to turn a vampire back into a human. And somehow, it has to do with that ring. And somehow, sunlight... We And, and this is a property of vampires that I was kind of confused about. Because then, like, Jojo was like, hey, Dio can't be in the sun, right? <laughs> when, well, before he... After he turned into a vampire, right? And, like, all his minions, too. If they hit sunlight, they fucking disappear, right? This guy actually does turn to dust. Granted, he was a vampire. I guess he was turning back into a human and then hitting the light. 
made him to dust. I'm kind of confused about that part. But haven't we seen Nazna and everybody else that's operating in daylight too? Or did I not see that correctly? I'm confused. What was that ring? I... The best guess I can make is a wrong guess because I'm like, silver ring? Somehow silver rings make vampire seek? But that's not the case. Aren't, aren't silver rings and silver bullets for like werewolves instead? It's not for vampires, right? Unless there is some overlap. Maybe. I don't know. I thought vampires are kind of just weak to like garlic and like a wooden steak or something like that. I, I don't know. I don't much do much research on vampires and that kind of mythology. But that's what I remember from watching these shows back in the past. She kind of got lucky with this vampires because he was pretty docile and he didn't want to do any harm. Plus, he was in a very weak state. We didn't drink any blood. Can she be as cool when she's fighting Nazna or Seri with somebody that can actually fight back with superhuman power? Don't think she can, right? So she's... Unless she has some other ways of fighting vampires that we don't know that we haven't clearly seen yet. Maybe she has some other methods, but... Yeah, she's gonna meet, you know, one of the one of our vampires pretty soon. And things are gonna get super interesting, man. Oh, I, I, I can't believe I still don't know her name, though. I just know her as just... Just detective girl. Uh, the mo the One of the other confusing thing is, when he went for her blood, she was like, oh, the fuck? I thought that all human blood tastes good for, you know, vampires. Doesn't that kind of imply that she's not human? But then it's like, okay, so that's why you're a vampire, therefore a vampire drank another vampire's blood and it's not supposed to be good, and therefore it's bad, and that's why she thinks it's gross. And then, same thing with the sunlight mechanic. I guess sunlight hit her directly. The other guy disappeared, but she's a vampire. She didn't disappear. I don't know. So many questions. But I'm just excited that we have a new character that's been introduced. That's just like taking the story by the balls and just taking it somewhere else. This is going to get pretty fun. The other dark, gritty side to vampires that we haven't seen yet, right? Things are getting pretty interesting. But again, only a couple episodes. Only one episode left, I think, for this season. Unfortunate. But hey. If you stick around this long, if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists to my channel. If you think, if you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps the YouTube algorithm push out my small channel. I recommend so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.